friends, I have a terrific appetizer or meal for you. It's my perfectly imperfect cheesy beef empaladas. I did not use the ranchero queso cheese. I did use quesadilla cheese instead, but don't worry. I will have all of your ingredients listed below as always. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we wanna start out with making our dough. So in my stand mixer, I have flour, I've added in some salt, and I've added in a little bit of sugar, and I'm just mixing to combine. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some very cold butter that I'm cutting into cubes, and I'm also gonna be adding in some butter shortening to the mixture. Now, once I started beating this, this did not incorporate like it's supposed to because it's supposed to be like a mealy texture. And so I had to get out my pastry cutter and I actually had to work out my arms and cut that in, into the flour, the butter, so that I got that mealy, mealy texture that I'm looking for. And I will show that to you shortly. Now, once it's all incorporated, and that's what it looks like, you guys, once it gets mealy. So I put a little well in the middle and I've added in my cup of water. So I'm gonna put my dough hook on and I'm going to blend it. I'm gonna add a little bit more ice cold water and that is ice cold water, you guys. I'm gonna add a little bit more as needed if I need it, but I think I kind of overdid it a little bit now that I'm looking into my pen. But that's okay because I'm gonna add a little bit more flour on my bench on the counter when I kind of roll this out or knead it a little bit. So once I knead it out a little bit to get my glutens going, I'm going to cover it in some saran wrap. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I want my butter to stay cold because I am gonna fry it and I want these to be flaky and tender and just perfect. So I'm gonna let this hang out in the fridge for about 20 minutes. But don't worry, you we will do something else while that is like chilling out in the fridge. So now I have some my pan on and I'm adding in some easy OO and some onion. I'm going to next add in my ground beef and I'm going to start my seasonings going. So the next is the ground beef and I'm going to kind of break that up with my nice handy dandy spoon. And then next I'm gonna add in some salt, some pepper, some cumin, some chili powder, a little bit of beef bouillon, uh, garlic, um, I'm gonna add the garlic in a little bit later, but I'm adding some smoked paprika, so that's soon, some dry oregano, and um, I'll probably wind up putting in a little bit of crushed pepper because I want a little bit of heat. If you don't wanna use crushed pepper, you can also use jalapeno or sin, uh, serrano pepper as well. So now I'm adding in some, my trio, you know, my favorite trio. So there went that garlic and my trio peppers, and then I'm adding in some potatoes that I have actually already cooked. So they are already done. I'm adding in some ketchup and I'm adding in my cheese blend, which is cheddar and queso cheese, as I was saying earlier. Now look how delicious this is. Oh my God, look how cheesy it is. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Ugh, this is gonna be awesome. You guys can always change your combination of your filling. You can add in some carrots, you can add in some peas. But anyway, so the now that the dough has rested for a while, I'm going to put the rest of this in the fridge and I'm gonna start rolling out my dough. So I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on my countertop and I'm gonna roll this out. Now I did have a wonderful empalada uh, maker, which would have made them all beautiful and all even and uniform, but guess what? They were a little bit too small for me, so I'm gonna have to get another one and I'm just gonna have to do it homemade style. That's what makes them imperfectly perfect. So anyway, I'm adding some more cheese. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the meat mixture in the middle. And then after that, I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and then I'm gonna fold it in half because I kinda did get kinda carried away with my, my filling. And so I'm going to pinch all my edges together and then I'm going to seal it with a fork because I, I can't do that wonderful uh, twisty braid thing that goes on the top. But anyway, these are my imperfectly perfect empaladas and now it's time to fry them. I needed a little bit more oil so that they covered my empaladas and they browned evenly. Um, you'll be able to see why you wanna do that later on to make sure they're covered because as you see that little spot at the top that's not cooking right now, um, 
actually kind of stays bubbled a little bit like that, even though it fries on the other side. But anyway, they still turned out perfect and they taste delicious. You guys, if you have not given me a thumbs up, you need to do so right now. And here you go, here's the empaladas. They are so delicious. I wanted to show you what they look like and you can see the cheese in the pool. You guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Give your girl a thumbs up and as always, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe so that you can get all of my new videos. Thanks for watching, goodbye.